let's now finally talk about what is this SDP that we are talking about again. So as you can see, this SDP stands for Session Description Protocol. Okay, that is, you can actually derive what this means, okay, by its full form. And by definition, when let's say we have two devices and they want to connect with each other over WebRTC, okay, that will be a real-time communication. But in order for that to happen, they first of all need to know in what way they are going to connect, okay. And for that, they need to exchange the information about the session. And this is where this SDP comes into play, okay. This is going to help us know in what manner these two computers are going to communicate with each other or connect with each other. Let's understand this in more detail. So what is going to happen? We have something called an offer answer model. That means when these two computers want to connect with each other, the first computer is going to offer this one some uh, information. Okay, like I can connect over this IP address or this port. Okay, in this particular, using this particular protocol. Then this computer is going to give this one its offer that I have this much capability that I have this particular method of connecting with you and when there is a there is something that these two computers are going to agree on okay that is when the connection will form and a live direct peer-to-peer -peer connection will be established okay so that is why it's important to share this SDP information and the model that is going to work over here that is called offer and answer model and when this offer is shared, this information is actually transferred between the two devices. First one is media type, like audio, video or data. What type of data is it going to give the other one? The codec information, which is going to specify the encoding and decoding algorithm, okay, that it is going to send the data in. Also, it's going to send the network information like its address ports and protocol that it's going to use for the communication. And the last thing that it's going to send is session description information about the overall session that it will be able to create. Let's now visualize this. So here we have two devices which are going to connect with each other. Okay, and here we have an offer and an answer. So in this offer, you can see there is lots of information here. In the answer, there is also some similar information, and it can the contents are similar to what I just explained to you in the previous video. Here you can see these two are going to agree that they can connect over PCMU. This is some kind of protocol and they want to connect over 8000 frequency. Okay. And the data that they are going to exchange over here is going to be audio. So this is how these two computers are going to communicate with each other. Okay. Over what port, what address they are going to connect and in what manner. So this is how this SDP information is going to serve its purpose in a, inside our application. So you can basically summarize this using these two definitions that what happens is devices may go through multiple rounds of offer and answer. That means they are going to share multiple different ways of connect, connecting with each other until they agree on a set of parameters for the communication session. Okay, so if they agree for a particular set of you can say a uh, method of connection, then the connection will be established. And once both devices agree, okay, use uh, over the session parameters that they are sending each other, okay, then they are going to use that information to set up their communication, okay, and that is when the direct communication is established and then both the computers will be able to share audio, video or any other kind of media directly with each other. So that is SDP in a nutshell okay let's now discuss what is turn server in the next video